Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. It is your friendly neighborhood farmer Raznak. We are back on Beaver Creek. We're mowing this big giant grass field that is just uh, north and west of the potato farm. This area that I said I was going to mow, we're going to mow it. It's time. It's time to mow it. I don't know what we're going to do with it. We may put some in the dryer. We're probably going to make some silage bales out of it and sell it because we need the money. And I'm probably, some of this will eventually turn into hay um, because it's already dry grass. So it won't take long for it to turn into hay. And if that happens, we'll just bale that up and put it in the storage shed. I hope everyone is doing well. I hope everybody's staying safe and healthy. It's a very, uh, very tricky times that we're dealing with right now. And I really, really do hope everyone is safe and their families are safe and they're staying healthy and you're listening and just staying inside and watching YouTube. I have 240 something videos down there. You can spend the next 14 days just hanging out with Raz the whole time. Watch every one of them, every single minute and comment and I'll comment back and you won't be so lonely. I'll be your friend during your quarantine time. All jokes aside, please, please stay safe. Uh, it's, it's really important. Uh, but I've been doing great. I have some great news, some wonderful news. Now, I don't know how picky Giants is, but I applied to Giants Partnership Program. And with the partnership program, I get a link, affiliate links, so that if my viewers want to purchase the game or DLCs or other Giants products, um, I get a little kickback. It's not much, and I'm not in this for money. I really wanted to apply to see if I could get it, and then I could say, wow, Giants likes me. Again, I don't know how selective they are, but I applied, and they liked my content. So they accepted me, and now I have these fancy little stickers that I can put on my videos, like these little PNG files, and I also have the links, which will be in the description, and then... Um, I'll also put those, I think I'm going to go ahead and make a website for the channel and then I can put all my affiliate links on there and that way people can go to one spot and they have all the links. But they'll also be in the video description down below. So if you've been in the market of getting a DLC, there you go. Or if you want the game and have never bought it, there you go. Or maybe you want to buy Farm Sim 17, there you go. Or maybe you want the Farm Sim Commodore 64 edition just because <laughs> it's down there but yeah I'm really excited for that I think it's super cool and I'm very humbled that my little channel has been growing and I thank all of you for that every single one of you that take the time to watch and subscribe and please hit the subscribe button um, I, I look at my analytics and it looks like 50% of my views come from people who aren't subscribers so if you would just hit the subscribe button down there. I'd really, really appreciate it. But you can see this is the plan here with the grass. I was going to get a new mower. I was, you know, but I'm like, ah, I got to save my money because we have to buy. Remember, we have to get a harvester for the oats. And then we have to get a harvester for the potatoes. And those things are going to cost some money, you know. Those are going to cost some cheddar. So I thought we'll just use the equipment that we have. And it won't take too long to get this mowed take too long at all what's new in the world of farm sim I don't know I don't I worked all weekend and um, my mind's been other places right now considering what's going on a lot of stuff I've been considering um, I also have a house full of kids <laughs> because nobody's in school and uh, I'm really hoping it doesn't interrupt my content I, I'm thinking it probably will it probably will interrupt a little bit of my content because I can't find normally I make videos when my kids are at school and the wife's at work and the house is quiet and nobody's around but and I'm not gonna have that opportunity for a while because my kids right now do not have to go back to school until April and depending on how everything unfolds they may not go back to school at all this year so we'll see what happens there um, and it's just kind of a, kind of a different time. Just something that nobody's, I don't think any of us anticipated and nobody expected. You 
and I don't blame anybody. I just think this is nature, nature doing its thing. Uh, it, uh, the simple fact that human beings exist is a miracle within itself, because the universe is trying to kill us. <laughs> I get that. That that's a line from a book I really like. Um, there's a series of books that I listen to, and uh, that's the main character. Pretty much says the universe hates him, and uh, that's what that's about. So, what I'll do is uh, I'll get this mowed off. I get all this mowed up. I'm not gonna torture you guys and make you watch it. And then I'll get it wind, 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 wind road. If I can talk, I can't talk. It's it's a struggle for me. All right. So here is the question. Do we? I guess let's just stop right here. We don't want to mow the bushes because that eh, just kind of be silly. It's not really a nice way of doing things. This field isn't as big as as it looks. I mean, it's still pretty pretty decent size, but it's not as big as it looks. But yeah, we'll get this mowed off, and then once it's mowed, I'll windrow it. I won't torture you with that experience because you know what it looks like, and we'll start working on the bales. I'll touch base with you. Touch base with you then. Alright, talk to you in a minute, guys. We have completed the mowing. And now we're windrowing. And I bought the big Lely the big end game. This is the big end game um, wind rower. I went ahead and sold our our smaller one because I didn't want to spend forever wind rowing. And we're going to be using we're going to be wind rowing a lot because we have this field, the other two hay fields. Um, we even can use this when we do the oats. That way we can get the straw up. So definitely have. Um, a use for this. It'll come in handy. So that's what we're doing. We're gonna get the wind rowing done. I just I love this. I, I I love this map. Like I just can't I can't get enough of it. <laughs> um I just I really really enjoying this map and I I just I like just keep plugging along. And I'm probably gonna do the cow farm ne next year or build it over the winter. I don't know if I'll stop playing this. Because as more and more mods come out, the game just gets more and more enjoyable. And we have so much area that we haven't unlocked yet. Um, stop. Lost. I mean, we, have, we haven't even touched any of these big, huge areas here. Now, of course, this is like a swamp. But what I'm thinking about doing here is, again, put a BGA and then putting cornfields in. Um, or we might put that BGA here and then like put the cornfield in down here. That may be better suited for this field because there isn't a whole lot, a lot of fields here. I mean, we're going to, we're going to go big and I, I think I'm just going to keep playing this. I really like it. It's fun. And I know different maps are fun, but at the same time, you're just doing the same stuff on just a different map. Now, future plans. American Farmer will keep going. I will put out an uh, episode of American Farmer this week. It is on my list of things to do. I already started some of it. Uh, American Farmer is very labor intensive. It takes a lot of work to get that series up and going. Um, it's just a lot of editing and a lot of thought process that goes into that that I don't have to worry about with other series like this one. This one is fun. Um, they're all fun, but this one is just ad-lib. Really, I don't plan it. I just jump in and play. And I like doing that, and I like talking. And it's kind of my version of streaming, because I can't stream. My internet just will not support it. So, that's why I do this. But yeah, I, uh... That's why I don't know what I'm saying most of the time. And I say, uh, all the time. <laughs> but... It's a, it's a fun map, and I think I'm just going to keep playing it. Uh, like I said, American Farmer, I'll keep doing. Fort Trip Farms, we'll keep plugging away at that. Uh, I don't know how long I'll do that. That's just one of those that was just kind of fun and different. And uh, it's a little map, and I play it when the family's asleep. So that's what, that's what I do there. It's not really a primary goal of mine to get those episodes made. It just seems like I have time every week to put them out. Now, 
I am going to be doing a multiplayer play on Alien Jim's new map called No Man's Land. And No Man's Land is very similar to this map in that the map is raw, there are no fields, there's very few roads, and you have to kind of make your own world. And I'm going to be doing that in a multiplayer environment. Uh, I'm going to host that server. And then I'm also going to have specific rules for that server. There will be rules for the gameplay. And that's just to kind of keep things neat and tidy and under control. Because sometimes multiplayer servers can get a little out of control. And I'm trying to set it up for a more long-term play. I guess we'll just continue forward here. Make this a little easier to keep straight. That's my plan right now. And those are the only maps I really have plans for. I would like to do... Oh no, I just killed some oats. I would like to do um, some more Blackbird Farms. But I'm really... I have an idea for the story... But I don't have the map for it yet. Uh, I was going to do like No Man's Land. Um, you know, like Lewis got stuck there. But I think I'd rather do that in multiplayer. So for the Blackbird Farms, I'm not quite sure which route I'm going to go with that. I, like I said, I have a map in mind for it. And a storyline in my head. And some stuff written down. But I haven't... Uh, just still waiting on the right environment to do it in. All right. Well, we'll get this wind road up. That's enough of me babbling incoherently. We'll get this uh, all wind road and we'll start bailing. Talk to you in a minute. Well, it is silage making time. Yay! Finally going to use the wrapper on this baler. <laughs> I mean, we've only had it a year and a half. But, uh, that's the plan. Oh my gosh. This thing is filling up quickly. And then I have I have one of my mods turned off because it was interfering with uh, the poplar bales, remember? Remember in the last episode? But yeah. So I have it turned off. So the auto stop is turned off, but that's okay because this is this thing fills up so fast that it's uh I'm gonna be stopping a lot. <laughs> Uh, it'd be nice if they had a square baler with an inline um, bale wrapper. But then again, I don't think you can wrap them fa as fast as you can pick up the hay. Especially with these large swaths. I mean, these swaths are pretty big. I mean, I'm really not even clearing them. So in real life, I'd be like carving into the hay here. But yeah, they're pretty, pretty, pretty big swaths of hay there. Or not hay, but grass. Now, I don't know if we'll get all this as silage because uh, if it converts over to hay with time, because it is not my chainsaw. I need that one. Um, it is dry grass, but it's is it 23% moisture or is that just the ground? That might be the ground. The ground's 23%. The crop, if I'm reading this right, is 10%. So it should turn to hay soon, I think. I, don't, I really don't know how that works. I don't think anybody knows. It just, you know, you cut grass and it turns to hay with seasons. I don't know. I can't remember. It, it's kind of confusing how it works, so I just ignore. Just, you know, put down some grass and leave it until it turns to hay. I don't know how long it takes. Uh, I know that there's different things that affect it, like uh, wind speed and temperature and all those things. So, like, if we look right here at the weather, like today, right now, we're at plus. We're the next couple days, we're at neutral, which means there just won't be any drying. And then it rains on Thursday. So, of course, it will rot if we don't start getting it off the field by then. But then yeah. So, we have to do that. So I don't know. I don't know if this will turn to hay. I'll have to wait and see. Now, as for picking it up, I have the little Ursus loading wagon um, that only carries eight bales, which was great when all we had were, was just the sheep farm. But it's not so great now because we have a lot more stuff. So with Anderson, I have this one. Let's see. We have... 
Those are squ so we have this round bale collector. That holds, see this holds 24 bales and it's 50. This holds 24 bales and it's 72. So I'm probably just going to go with this one. And we'll turn around and sell our little Ursus. I don't know how much we get for it. See, 30, we get 30 grand for it. And then this one cost us 50. So it would cost us 20,000 to carry three times the amount of bales. Definitely going to be worth it. Now, we probably are going to have to get a bigger tractor, so we may not use the cloths for hauling. We'll have to use one of the other ones. Uh, maybe the Valtra from the uh, wood plant, or we can use just use the big Terra track. I'm not sure which one has the fastest speed. That's what I'm curious about. Or we can pick all these up with the truck. Let's see, we could do that too. Let's see, it's a 24 miles an hour, 24. So it's probably going to be the Voltra because it goes 31. And we're going to be doing a lot back and forth carting to the dock to get all this stuff sold off. This is going to be a lot of bales. A lot of bales. That's all right, we need the money. Now, let's look, speak it of money. Let's each one of these. Does it give us a volume? No. 72 hours to go, so it's going to be a while before it's silage. Let's look at... I want to see how many tons it per bale. So let's fill this up. Fill it up and we'll see how many tons is in each bale. So we're looking at one and a half tons per bale. And at silage, we're looking at 67.28 per, per bale. So around a hundred bucks a bale is what we should get if when we sell it which is really good money $100 a bale I mean it's not too shabby for free grass well it wasn't free because we bought the land but you, you know what I mean for grass I love this Kloss DLC you know at first I was I was like $20 for equipment but man this stuff is just it's so nicely done it's just all real quality mods. I mean, look at this stuff. I mean, you got all these hoses that connect. PTO, the pickup looks awesome. All these animations inside. And everything looks great. It does. It just looks really, really cool. And uh, definitely worth the money. And if you haven't got it yet, down below you can uh, click on my affiliate link purchase the mod or the DLC and I get help me out a little bit <laughs> okay that's the shameless plug for the episode I won't uh, won't I won't do it too much <laughs> I don't do this for money reasons I do this for fun makes me feel less weird when I'm talking to myself playing the game <laughs> all right well you know what I'm gonna be doing for the next little bit We'll be bailing up some silage, and if it switches over to hay, I will cut in and let you know that it has switched over to hay. We'll kind of keep an eye on it. Right now it's 16.30, so 4.30 in the afternoon as I run over my silage bale. So we'll kind of keep an eye on it and see how long it takes to dry down. If it does dry down, it may not. It may be all silage bales by the time we're done. So we'll see. But if it does change, I'll let you know. And if it doesn't, I'll touch base with you here when we're done wrapping bales. Talk to you in a minute. Well, folks, it looks like we won't get any hay in this cut because it's still grass. It is after 9 p.m. on the map, and it hasn't changed yet. We have tons of silage bales, if you look at them out there. Now, I think I've kind of perfected the speed um, right now with this baler and this uh, windrow size because I'm it really depends so I'm I just have the cruise control set at four and usually by the time it's done wrapping I can uh, it'll offload and then it's you know it just kind of works out where I'm not stopping a whole whole lot you can see right there it finished wrapping this one empties and you only have to stop kind of once So the four miles per hour works pretty good. 
with this size Monroe and this Baylor. I could just go, but then I'll just be sitting. I don't know. And it's something about moving nice and steady and slow. Just kind of relaxing. I was hoping to get some hay, but not going to happen. Not going to happen. Because we are on the last swath of grass here. And then we'll be done. How many bales do we have so far? 79. 79. Like I said, today's price is $100 a bale. But I was looking at seasons. And um, the price for silage is really low right now. So here in three days it may be better. Like if we go in here and look. Uh, silage. You can see right here. Like yesterday it was up here. Today it's here. So we'll see if it improves over the next 72 hours because these bales are going to have to cook in the sun for 72 hours before they are silage. I love this baler. It's really cool. I just, I didn't really see there's a working light back here. All of the wrap looks white right there, but it's black. Not much of a sound effect for like the bail wrap. When it cuts it, it's pretty cool. It's cool. Great baler. Definitely, definitely worth it. Again, this is from the Kloss uh, expansion, the Platinum Edition. <laughs> I guess they would call it, that's what Giants calls it. I really. I don't call it an expansion because they didn't expand the game any. They just, it's more of like a really big DLC. So that's how I look at it. But I'm hoping to make about 10 grand off all these silage bales. I know, it's not much money, but it is money. And we'll be charging forward. We, I don't think we're going to have to worry about money here real soon. Because as soon as we start bringing in those potatoes and washing them, man, there's going to be so many potatoes. We're going to make a killing. We're just going to make a fortune. I kind of nerfed the map um, by changing out the sawmill. Because that other sawmill paid way too much money for the boards. For me. Everybody plays different. I like, I like it to be a little harder for me economically. And that way I have to use the same equipment for a while. I want to kind of... I don't know. I like the grindiness of it. Call me crazy. But I do. Some people don't. Some people like... To, you know, get all the biggest and the best right away, and then move on to something different. But I like to take my time and enjoy the map. I do. And I think once we're done with this row, that's what we're going to call it quits for the episode. I think we're quits. So, here's my last shameless plug of the day. If you would like to support me in any form or fashion, I don't have Patreon because I can't give you guys anything. Uh, I don't have PayPal, because, again, because I don't expect you to send me money just to watch my videos. Because I'm going to make these anyways, whether anybody watches them or not. But if you do, if you are going to spend money on um, farm sim stuff, as in the game or the DLCs or any, any of the giant software has to offer, check out the links below in the description. Check it out and uh, go ahead and grab grab one of those I'll give a little it gives me a little kickback helps me pay for running the channel uh, because I do it does cost me money to do this I actually everything I use is free except for uh, epidemic sound um, I use that I pay like 15 bucks a month to use their service because they have a lot of really cool sound files and sound effects and music and all that stuff that you you can find it free it just takes a little bit more work and I like I like epide epidemic sound so I definitely like their stuff which I tried to join their affiliate program and they denied me I'm like what I use your music every day but apparently they only take so many partners per quarter and uh, they're real selective on who they give that to so maybe one day I can build up. I'm curious to see. So we're at 88 bales. Now we don't have... I was like, can we make 100? No, definitely not. So we're almost done here. 
So we'll speed up through this. So you can see, like, if you go really fast, you're just going to sit here and wait. Because this bale has to unload, and then this bale has to load. And then once it's, you know, you know what I mean. Boop. All right. Just gather this up, even though it'll probably rot away because it is grass. And that's it. That's all she wrote, folks. It is now nighttime, and we did not get any hay. But what we did get is 90 silage bales. 90 of them. Cut it off. Look at the beautiful sky here on Beaver Creek as we say goodbye. Because I think that's what. 72 hours? Yeah, 71 hours left to go. So, we'll, we'll be waiting on these for a little while. Then when they're done, I'll sell them off. I'll let you know how much I make. I'll keep a note of it, and then the next time we talk, which it may not be ready next time we talk, because we may be doing something else. We still have tons of work to do. Tons of work. We have all these oat fields to harvest. We have these potatoes to harvest. And then when these oat fields are done, I'm thinking... Can't remember what geo I have here. What's it at? There it is. Yeah, when these oats are done, I'm probably going to plant soybeans. Probably going to plant soybeans. I could plant cotton, but I don't have enough room for it. I don't have enough space to make it worthwhile. Because you want a lot of lot of land for cotton. Yeah, we'll probably be planting some soybeans. So a lot of work to do. Tons and tons and tons to do. Thank you, as always, for tuning in. I really, really appreciate it. Very Again, I'm always humbled when I jump on and I see that I have more and more subscribers. So thank you guys so very much. And if you haven't subscribed yet, don't be afraid to click that subscribe button. I hope you wouldn't be disappointed. I play Farm Sim. We're going to keep doing the Farm Sim content because I love the game. And it's why most of you are here. We'll also be doing Surviving the Aftermath. And I might sprinkle in a little Truck Sim here and there when I get the urge to play it. All right. Until next time, next time everybody. Stay safe. Thanks for watching. We'll see you later. Bye. Yeah.